So welcome back. Once again, this is Kevin from Construction Scale Model Imports in Australia doing yet another video on the Lieber 960 SME ready to run version. So let me start by thanking everybody for their emails and their questions and also for the thumbs up on the last video. Keep those coming and courageous us to do more videos like this. So in this video, we're going to talk about the dimensions of this machine, a little bit of uh, cab detail on the inside, and I'll walk around this machine with a camera so you get you know a better closer view of this particular machine. So here we go. Let's start with some dimensions now. I did measure this particular machine with the boom completely expanded, and it's close to one meter. It's a bit hard to fit it in the camera, so that's the reason why we have actually folded the boom in to make it easy and bring the camera more closer for the focus. Okay, uh, I'll start off with the width of the total tracks, which is about 27 centimeters, 270 mil, or 10 and a half inches. The width of each track is about two inches, five, or five centimeters, or 50 millimeters. The height of the cab is 250 mil, 25 centimeters, or roughly nine and three quarter inches. The length of the entire track is about 40 centimeters, 400 millimeters, or roughly 16 inches. Uh, the width of the body is about 210, 210 millimeters, that is 21 centimeters, or eight and quarter inches. The height from the rear is 190 millimeters, 19 centimeters, or roughly seven and a half inches. Now, the cab itself, if you wanted to know how wide the cab is, it's about two and three quarter inches, or about 70 mil or seven centimeters. There is a lot of detail. If this particular machine has a quick connect, there's two auxiliary lines on either side. So if you had a grab or a demolition, um, a demolition grab or a demolition shear, the rotated part would connect on one side, whereas the opening or closing of the grab would go on the inside because this each one is connected to one valve, one in, one out. I hope I'm not speaking too fast. I will try to slow it down. Okay. I will bring the camera now a little bit closer to show you the quality of the paint. It's absolutely amazing. The gloss and the shine on the paint is really, really beautiful. So let's get the camera closer. Excuse the shakes. We'll start off by showing you the interior of the cab. Now the lighting is not the best, so I apologize for that in advance. Use the shakes and the jitters. There you go. So you can see the cab up there. There is a screen inside. The screen will only work if you have a Brixel radio. Here you go. Now you could see the gloss on the track. Just trying to do my best so it can focus in so you can actually see. There you go. So now you can see the gloss on the track. So the, the paint works absolutely amazing. Yeah, let's see the camera takes a little while to focus so you can get the detail in there. Let's give it a little while for the camera to focus once again so you're able to see the, uh, the detail. I'll bring it closer. So this particular pin, sorry about the shakes on the camera, this particular pin is the actual locking mechanism for the quick connect that's connected to uh, a valve and it's connected to a function on the on the on the radio when you hit that it expands but well, we will go through that um, in the next video i'm just trying to show you the gloss uh, that's trying to focus on the camera so i'll run you through the machine up here so sme stands for surface mining equipment there you go, you can see the finish. Really well painted. That gives you a better idea, or I guess, of the quality of the paint job that's gone into this particular machine. Go into the details to show you 
the walkway, the exhaust. The exhaust is actually made of metal, by the way, just for information. It's a beacon on this one. The ROPS protection is actually made of metal completely. I'll wait for the camera to focus once again so you can actually see the detail on it. There is a lighting kit installed on this one, so you actually have two lights on either side of the boom. We'll go through all those functions in the coming videos. I'll switch on all the lights so you can see. I'll also run through how to start this machine once you get it, just to make it easy for all the viewers and in case you are buying a machine, you have a reference point uh, on this video. So you can look back at this video and actually pick up the tips of how you're going to start it once you get it in case you are puzzled or this is going to be your first machine that you are buying so you have some reference point so put the camera back once again excuse the shakes and the jitters on it bring the camera back into focus so you can see the overview of the whole entire machine there you go Get the camera a little bit more behind, so. Okay. There you go. So, once again, this is Kevin from Construction Scale Model Imports in Australia doing a video on the ready to run Lieber 960 SME. As usual, if you have any questions, please email us at info at csmi.com.au or you could visit the website, which is www.csmi.com.au. Thank you for watching.